What's going on gamers? Today, let's go over how you can start an experimental 1.21 Minecraft server. Every year, Minecraft releases a new version of the game with minor to staggering changes, typically around June. However, there's no concrete date for the upcoming 1.21 update. If you want to explore some of these new features early, this usually includes using snapshots, but that leaves you stuck in single player. If you want to get a glimpse of Minecraft 1.21 with friends, then let's go over how you can get it set up on your Apex server. Once the official version of Minecraft 1.21 is released, there will be dedicated servers available for it, but in the meantime, you have to use the latest update and configure specific settings to get the upcoming features. First, you should probably download your world and save your existing server data. Once Minecraft 1.21 features are introduced, they cannot be removed, even after reverting the settings to default. This means that you'll be unable to use the world on any older versions. Before setting up Minecraft 1.21 features on your server, make sure you're using 1.20.3 or higher, since older versions won't support it. Head towards your Apex server panel and click the stop button at the top. Afterward, press the Config Files option on the far left corner of your screen. On the next page, proceed to select Server Settings from the list. While viewing this area, scroll down and locate the Initial Enabled Packs option. Change its values to Vanilla, Update underscore 1 underscore 21, Bundle, and then click the Save button. When you're finished, confirm this by pressing Restart Now in the prompt. Now, in order for the changes to take effect, you're going to need to generate a new world. So go ahead and do that, and then you're going to restart your server one more time. The primary Minecraft 1.21 features are trial chambers and breeze mobs, along with decorated pot functionality. The first is a large underground structure resembling Minecraft dungeons, full of enemies, loot, and challenges. In this area, players will encounter the breeze creatures, shooting whirlwinds when you get too close. There aren't any item drops from this monster, but it does provide you with a lot of experience points. The last major feature allows players to use decorated pots for storing valuables, while also being breakable with projectiles, making them the perfect target practice. Besides these experimental features, there are new copper blocks to build within your world too. Now before we get on to the common issues, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell, that way we know this is what you like to see. If you can't see the new features, make sure you are running a server of 1.20.3 and above. Anything lower does not support the new changes. You can do this by changing the game version in the game file section of your panel. If you can't remove experimental features, remember, any worlds using experimental features cannot have them removed. With this in mind, the only options for removing them are a restoration from previous backups or creating a new map. If you are excited for the new changes in the game, it can be hard to wait for official updates. Luckily, they make it easy to experience them early, and with just a little bit of configuration, you'll get the chance at seeing 1.21 just a little bit earlier. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.